Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, this is my first episode and my first Let's Play. Um, as we show here, our first Let's Play is on Portal 2. Let me just adjust something real quick. So in this game, Portal 2, you have to figure all these different puzzles and stuff. And it's really cool and stuff. If you want to add me on Xbox, my list is full. But uh, it's Dead Zombie AK47. I'm not telling you how to spell it. I don't know why, but this is also awesome Let's Plays. My name is Mario. Welcome to Awesome Let's Plays. I know I haven't done this. Uh, uh, no, Fred, once I get a new TV, I will get my crafter card working. And this will be different. Okay. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness. But exercise. we didn't jump. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Yeah, music! Good. Now, please return to your bed. Okay, I guess we're going to bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Hello? Are you... Ah! Ah! Dog, dog. You look... Um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm actually sure you're fine. There's we plenty of stuff are you can cover. Just take a sweet sleep. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Um... What? Uh... You alright down there? Can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Hi, how you doing? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying? A total sure. Does make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please going prepare on. for reactor core meltdown. Um, oh, oh, okay, oh. Look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Ah. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. No, I don't want to hold on. Nobody tells me anything. No, oh, why should you tell me anything? Why um, should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 um, bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? Close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? <laughs> but not of space. Uh, just, just got to get through here. I, I just can't concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, oh, no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Um. Okay, let's 
Listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. Uh. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Um. Oh. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Uh, um. Uh. Almost there. Start Remember, not down the road. Remember, we're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Do we leave? Do we... There we go. Now I'll be honest. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency zero, zero. testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. All right, so the object of this game killed Wados. <laughs> She's a bad guy, so just be testing. Wait, did companion cube? Even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You have just passed through an aperture science material emancipation drill, which vaporizes most aperture science equipment that touches. Yeah, shut up. So, uh, about this game, uh, it's a very good game. If you haven't played Portal, it's a good eye opener puzzler for you. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temple. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Alright, so you want to do push this button. Portal opens. Go to the portal. Grab. Come back through the portal. Hit. Go through here. Drop it, pan cube. Freedom. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will remind you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. So supposedly we kill GLaDOS, kill the whole place, uh, I'm spoiling for one, uh, destroy the whole place, and then Caroline, I almost said Carolina, Caroline comes in from if the Earth is currently governed by a banner of animal king, semi a cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or so, is incapable of listening to us. Hey, you made it! Yeah! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Um, that's in positive. Yeah. This is a portal gun. Uh, once you get the ability to have the orange gun hit, well, right now you need to have Archie shoot the portal gun. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share.
So, let's reverse that call if you shoot one right there by the door. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Aperture. Aperture. Aperture? How my friends are logging in at the school. Alright, let's do this. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. This is what I like about the program. This door, but no dice. So, what you have to do? Up, up, up. 360 notes go. <laughs> Alright, so this is an emancipate. Okay, fine. You can 360 on And final companion cube. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Whoa. What? But if we come up here, I do believe there's a secret song. One reason that I need to know what's happening. Um, so this is an emancipation grid, I'll show it off. See this portal as soon as I walk through it? It's mine. Alright, so options. Controller. Look sensitivity. So now we can do sixty. <laughs> so, um, the beginning is gonna start slow. People are saying, "Ugh, this is a terrible first player game because there's only six chapters and like five levels in each chapter." Uh, me and my friend, we will be doing multiplayer, so don't worry. The mission center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space. Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Uh. So we're gonna hit that. Drops a companion cube. What you wanna do is aim. Hit that companion cube so it comes down. Grab a a a a. Grab this. That does absolutely nothing. All right, here we go. You ready? Green cube has been dissipated. Nice. Didn't realize it made steps. I'm smart.
think I know what we can do. Huh? Got you up there. I should wear top on the edge of the portal. I'm probably doing this wrong. Uh, oh, yeah, I did it wrong. So that button does that. What does this button do? Alright, I got this. Oh my gosh, really? Haha! <laughs> So, uh, I'm done well with this. Thank you all for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys later.